Hi everybody, welcome back to the Golden Era Bookworm as promised. I would um, finish off my review of the Education of a Bodybuilder by Arnold Schwarzenegger covering the second half of the book. So after going through the autobiography which I already mentioned in my three or four previous videos which to me really is the highlight of the book where he describes his rise in bodybuilding first his incredible training his amazing willpower and determination his escape from the army to win Mr. J uh, Junior, Mr. Europe then coming second in the Mr. Universe and then winning it at a very young age of 19 or 20 years old and then going to America and conquering uh, the bodybuilding world we um, reach, so that's him winning the Olympias and the Universes and the Olympia for the first time yeah then we move on to a nice section here of photography of Arnold some really awesome shots here I like this section a lot some awesome photos These are, I believe, by Russ Warner, very famous shots of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh no, it's actually by Caruso, you can see his signature at the bottom. Anyway, part two, muscles and how to build them. This section uh, goes through uh, what Arnold considers to be very important points in why you'd want to become a bodybuilder, why you want to exercise, the importance of the mind in bodybuilding, etc, etc. Um, and then he goes through also what you should eat and he actually gives a, um, a diet that is a very highly calorific diet as he says it's 5,000 calories Providing around 300 grams of protein, and it is his secret high protein, high calorie uh, diet that he gives for maximal uh, gains. Um, <laughs> some people think you'll get fat on it, but I think you would. <laughs> I've actually done this myself, I did this uh, diet actually when I was uh, about 20 something and I went from 65 kilos to about uh, almost 90 kilos put in about 25 kilos of body weight I'll say a lot of it was fat and a lot of it was muscle and I used actually I didn't use his routine what I used was the squat program which is mainly 20 rep squats once or twice a week I believe drinking two liters of milk a day and um, yeah the rest that was covered here basically so um, you will gain weight absolutely but more importantly are the exercises that he gives in chapter, so that was chapter one, which was an introduction. Laying that foundation is more about uh, his program of body weight training, which involves push ups, rows between chairs, sit ups, dips, leg raises. Twists, squatting, calf raises, and chin-ups. And he also recommends cardio, jogging, and or swimming. And that he should, or that one should do this 
uh, at least for a few months. Now, he doesn't, I don't believe, exactly say how long he should do this for. But, basically he gives a, a set of rep ranges that one should follow. And that eventually you want to reach before you go into a bodybuilding program. I would say that this would be okay if you were doing uh, three to six months of this particular workout. And he also recommends you doing this for a traveling if you don't have time and you don't have access to a gym. And basically if you just want to get fit, I think it's a good program. I think it's a great program. His beginner's barbell program is gone through in chapter 3 which goes through progressive resistance weight training. Now I don't have anything, uh, any problem with the particular program which is bench presses, 5 sets with 8 to 6 reps, wide grip chins, 10 reps for 3 sets, military presses, 3 sets for 10 reps, barbell curls, 3 sets for 10, French press, 3 sets for 10, squatting, 3 sets for 10, leg curls, 3 sets for 10, machine calf raises, three sets for, uh, 5 sets for 15, sit-ups, 3 uh, sets of 50, and wrist curls, 3 to failure. It's a very simple program, and he recommends doing this 3 times a week. Now that's the only problem I have with that workout. I think it's a great workout. It's a full body routine, which was, which was and still is practiced by a lot of natural bodybuilders. And I believe that if you are starting out bodybuilding, this is a great routine and maybe should be practiced initially twice a week. And maybe after a few months, you could try doing it for three times a week if you wish. But, yeah, two to three times a week would be more than enough. I like the routine that comes after this. Which is chapter four. Christ, this is so annoying. I have to keep getting messages. Uh, chapter four goes through now uh, a four day routine with a Monday and Thursday program covering legs, which is squats leg extensions and leg curls as well as calf raises and your chest which is bench presses flies and the uh, abs as well and forearms and then Tuesday and Friday is shoulders which is uh, pressed behind the neck lat raises the back which is chin ups and rowing and arms, which is biceps and triceps, which covers barbell curls, dumbbell curls, incline curls, triceps is standing French press, laying extension with the bar, and then abs and forearms again. On Wednesday, he recommends that you work on your weak points. I think that's too much. I think that just training Monday, Thursday, Tuesday and Friday would be more than enough. That's my own recommendation for a natural. Um, his next routine, which is six days a week, accelerated training. <coughs> and chapter six, which is the superset version of this. I think it's just uh, way too much. Uh, Monday and Thursday is leg, legs, calves and waist, where he adds, adds now lunges, and seated calf raises, Tuesday and Friday is back chest and shoulders, which is chin ups, wrong with the bar, uh, T bar rows, and bench press, incline press and flies, as well as pullovers. Shoulders is pressed behind the neck, lat raises and bent over lat raises, and Wednesday and Saturday's arms. Look, I mean, it's okay, but again, it is six days a week. I think it's almost pushing it. You are only training the body twice a week, 
uh, each, sorry, each body part twice a week, which is okay. Um, but I think it's quite advanced, personally. I think the limit for any natural bodybuilder is training the body, each body part twice a week. Uh, yeah, I would re recommend a word of caution with that particular um, routine. But then chapter six, I think, unless you're on steroids, I don't think you could do it. You'd have to do this supersetting, or unless you're cutting down for a competition and use maybe 20% less weight because um, there's no way you'd be able to do it I don't think you could recover that's my only real uh, criticism about this section um, is that I think the uh, supersetting last the, the last advanced super advanced program for cutting down I'm, I'm assuming and um, and supersetting is, is just probably too much, but um, that's my own my own take. That's uh, the end of this review for Arnold, The Education of a Bodybuilder. I've read this book, as I said, countless times. You can see that the book is in tatters, I mean, right, it's, uh, yeah, it, it, I've read it again and again and again. You can see my little bookmark here. I've owned the book since 1990, that's 27 years ago that I bought it. I was what? About 12 years old when I first got this book. So, First book on bodybuilding that I ever owned. And I still love it. I read it the other day just to give myself a quick little review before this review. And as I said, I highly recommend it. Um, I don't necessarily, uh, think that the, f that his, uh, programs at the end are the best. I have my own personal choices as to what programs I would recommend for a starter. And I mean, even Arnold himself, when he used to train in Munich, when he used to, sorry, uh, own a gym in Munich, he actually never gave such a complex startup program to any of his clients. I have magazines where he talks about the Magic Six. The Magic Six that he always used to give to his clients were the bench press, the chin up or the row, the barbell curl, the squat, the deadlift I believe, and something else. I think, oh yeah, and the military press. So it was only military press, bench press, barbell curl, squat, uh, the row or chin up, and the deadlift, I think. I think that's where they were the, the six, the, the basic six. And he used to have people on this for a while and just get stronger and stronger and stronger. I think that his program from chapter two, sorry, from chapter three, yeah, from chapter 3, which is the full body weight could perhaps be done after the Magic 6 are done, because it adds more, it's a little bit more volume, and then what could build from there. Yeah, I think that's, that's reasonable, but for a, but even if you wanted to start on his program from chapter 3, I don't think doing it three times a week is realistic. I think twice a week for any beginner is more than enough. So anyway, that's my uh, take on it. I think this book is great. I've given it a double thumbs up and I'll do it again. It's a fantastic book. I hope you've enjoyed this review of what I believe is the greatest bodybuilding book that was that has ever been written. And of course, by the king himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Highly recommended by the Golden Era Bookworm. If you would ever, if you have a book that you'd like for me to review and recommend, please uh, get in touch with me. I'm happy to do other reviews. I've actually been contacted by someone else to do a review for their book, and I will be doing that soon once I receive it. Anyway, thank you very much, and I will be doing other videos shortly. So, see you. Bye.